I'm Mike Bowers and I'm photographer at large for The Guardian Australia. I'm talking pictures this morning at New South Wales Parliament House where the Behind the Lines exhibition has lobbed and I'm talking with the current Behind the Lines cartoonist of the year, Glenn Lever, yes. who's uh, also crowdfunded I believe. I am crowdfunded yeah. through Patreon. Yeah. I'm, uh, at the moment I'm filling in for uh, David Rowe at the Fin Review. You are the very model of a modern <laughs> cartoonist, aren't you? His shoes are about this big. <laughs> he should be playing uh, basketball in the States. Well, it's a pleasure to be here with you. NATO. It's a very Australian name, isn't it? It's like, I'm going to NATO. I'm going to NATO, love. I'll be back. I'll set a pack of cigarettes, carton of milk and a bit of NATO. And Anthony Albanese, who I don't quite understand why, is it bring a mato to NATO? Because we know we're near the North Atlantic, Glenn. Yeah, bring a mate and a plate. The the reason a lot of these shots look like they were taken from a low angle is because they're uh, taken from the kids' table. <laughs> right. Here he's meeting with the President of the European Union. I, I love this. This looks like it's actually in the Colosseum. Yeah. So you hope that after this shot was taken, they release the lions. These are the Bring a Mates uh, picture for, 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 for NATO. The uh, New Zealand, Australian, uh, Japan and South Korea. Look how happy they all are. It's like Australia's exporting a brand new kind of margarine to the world. It's like, a, I can't believe it's not ScoMo. <laughs> <laughs> You've managed to reduce both China and Russia here to, uh, to bears, the right to arm bears. It was a bit of a struggle here to work out um, who was sitting on top of whose yeah, head. Right. I imagine Russia-China summits start exactly the same way. Yeah. Glenn, that uh, about this time every five years, the Australian people come to their census. And, yes. uh, and this week, the results were released. And um, shocking news from the mainland, the average Australian is now a millennial woman. Lovely David Pope. Yes, I, I don't think that data would have gone down very well on Fantasy Island. Uh, Dutton Island. Dutton Island. Yeah. Dutton Island. He, he makes a perfect island, doesn't he? A little iceberg, maybe? Lovely uh, Fiona Kataskis, the Australian-born Anglo-Celt Christian Baby Boomer Appreciation Society. She hates them baby boomers, does Fiona? I'm, I'm, she? I'm afraid, uh, well, it's, it's kind of a self-loathing, yeah, yeah. um, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid I've got some, some bad news. Generation gap. I think Kathy Wilcox has sorted out the generation gap. Unlike a lot of young people, we had faith in God to help us through life. Also, faith in being able to afford our own home and in the eternal beneficence of tax breaks for all other, our other investment properties. I'd love a cartoonist who can get beneficence in a, in a cartoon. Well, you get extra points. You get a gold star yeah, for, absolutely, for beneficence. Kathy. Peter Brolman has picked up on the, um, the lettuce petrol index, the LPI, <laughs> and now onto the standard of living as uh, everything's going up, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for uh, ATMs to start dispensing lettuce instead of um, cash. Yeah. With cuts to staffing levels on the cross benches, uh, Anthony Albanese has stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest. He's made a very cross bench. Very, very cross bench. They're very uh, irate, yeah. uh, irate, slightly warmer shade of teal. Now, is this... This, uh, this is David Pocock. I thought it was Peter Garrett because with less staff, yep. the independent, you can say it with me, the independents are going to be burning a lot of midnight, midnight oil. oil. A lovely take by Alan Moyer. It's a welcome to Canberra gift from the PM with the fewer PMP advisors, Rotten Tomatoes, getting thrown thro at them. Yeah, it really I, does seem to have started this... Parliament off with a uh, a bang, a splash, a splash, a wet splat. Start yeah. getting off to a wet splat. It's been a great pleasure unpicking the events of this week. Thanks, Mike. And uh, I'll let you do the honours. Back to you, Pat.